Question number five. Uh, the reaction of copper and nitric acid to form copper nitrate and hydrogen gas. Uh, a very common reaction. It's a reaction between an acid and a metal. First thing first, if we look at the equation, we need to check if it is actually balanced. And we can clearly see that the hydrogens are unbalanced. So if we remedy that, let's put a 2 in front. 2 hydrogens, 2 hydrogens. We now have 2 nitrate ions and only 1 on the right hand side. Another 2. And finally, 2 coppers. So now that we have our balanced equation, we can begin to look at the redox and the reduction that's going on. So copper, uncombined in its elemental form, has an oxidation state of zero. The nitrate ion, it's one you will be expected to know for your course. It has a charge of minus one. So we can say that the oxidation state of nitrate, NO3, is minus one. And the same over on the right hand side. Which means that our hydrogen is a plus one, and our copper must also have become plus one. And the hydrogen is now in its uncombined state, elemental form zero. From the left to the right, the copper has lost electrons as it has been oxidized. Whereas the hydrogen has been reduced as it has gained an electron. And the nitrate ion we can see is unchanged. So we can identify it as our spectator ion in this reaction. So nitrate ion does not change. If we go forwards to our half equations, same as before, if we separate out the two species that are reacting, the copper and the hydrogen, we can start with 2Cu, which forms 2Cu+. plus, And we can add on that we need two electrons altogether for that reaction to occur. The hydrogen, we begin with two H plus ions on the left in the reactants, and we end up with hydrogen. And it makes sense that each hydrogen ion gains one electron, overall two electrons, to make hydrogen. So if we combine those two into our ionic equation, We can eliminate the two electrons and take two copper plus two H plus makes two Cu plus plus H2. And that is the reaction sorted.